All righty, folks. If you're living under a rock, let me remind you that interest rates are high. We have been over 7% for owner oct for the entire month of August, likely over 8% for investors. We have the one and only Omar uh, Afaro from the High Desert. He is my thir uh, Tuesday guest. And uh, he opened up our session by saying, Michael, I've been doing some research on interest rates. And I have a feeling, at which point I cut him off and said, you know what? Let's just have this conversation on the record. You can tell me what you're feeling, what you're seeing. And uh, maybe I'll agree. Maybe I won't. I have no idea what's coming. So, uh, Omar, what do you got? What you been reading? Yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, by the by the end of the summer, or actually not summer, by the end of the this uh, fourth quarter, mm -hmm. I think something's going to, I mean, uh, historically, obviously, September, October, November, December, is something that's a lot slower, right? In a regular real estate market. Yeah. And then pair it with, um, you know, half a percent or a percent an increase uh, of your um, of your interest rate, you know, where conventional financing is going to be probably eight and a half, nine percent. Mm -hmm. And then FHA is going to be seven and a half, eight. So it's going to cause some concerns. And I think I'm and I'm looking at it as an investor. I'm looking at it as a uh, as a team that represents some buyers, and we're looking at it as um, some sellers losing value because of buyers' purchasing power. I mean, there isn't any anymore. It's like you have to be spot on with your price points if you're you know helping sellers sell their property. Um, and I don't know, man. I, like I, I've been I've been getting calls from other investors. That's when I know something's happening. They're mm -hmm. they're calling me like, hey man, what do you think? Like, what's going on? Are are you still are you still buying, or are mm -hmm. you just gonna stay put to see what the market does? And you know, how much inventory do you have? And where are you going? Are you dropping prices to hurry up and sell the the assets, or you're gonna be stuck with the bag? You know, mm -hmm. so yeah. I don't know. It, it's an inter inter interesting um, topic. Um, I'm making a couple calls actually today. We're gonna be talking about a couple things. Uh, you know, with uh, with with Pineda because he has a lot of inventory. That's another person that I know that has a crap load of inventory that's just sitting on the market. So it's yeah. like I want to know what he's going to do because I don't have that many, you know, that many that many doors well, that are on the market. We got four or five, but it's it's a trip. I mean, what are your thoughts, Michael? Because you know you've been yes. doing this a minute. Yeah, I've been doing this a minute. Um, I started putting content out about two or three weeks ago. Uh, reminding folks about what happened last year. In fact, Jason Pritchard and I recorded a show this Sunday. I think it posted today. It may have posted yesterday, basically imploring people who are in the flipping business to be careful. Mm -hmm. Remember what happened last year. It's the deals that you locked up right now that you lost a hundred grand on. No, I know. Don't remind me, man. Yeah, because... I don't know what it is, right? A lot of folks, you and I, you included, you and I were talking February, March, Michael, I lost some money. Let's tell the story. It's not all roses. Sometimes you lose. And yeah. then the market picked up in the spring. People are getting a little full of themselves. A little, I can't miss. This is easy again. Yeah, no way, man. No way. Yeah. And oh, by the way, the rates jumped again. And I've been on record saying transactions are going to keep continue to crash. We're going to be sub four million. We've seen demand disappear. We're seeing supply disappear. So um, I think we're going to repeat last year. I really do. I think I think uh, October, November, December, January are going to be super slow. I think August and September are going to be really slow. So I would be extra careful if you are flipping below the median for your market, and it's a dialed in property. It'll probably sell, but it can't be a yeah, but property. Michael, I've got a perfect turnkey property, but it's on a busy street. Michael, I've got a, a pretty property, but it backs up to a gas station. You know, the, I call those yeah, buts. Right. Um, it's it's still it's it's time to be careful. 